It's important to be mindful of our voice level so other readers can read too. Even when reading the pictures or the words, readers need to read inside their heads or use a quiet reading voice so other readers can read too. Hi, good morning, first graders. Today during Reader's Workshop, we will talk about reading independently. We will talk about what it looks like and what it sounds like. So what does reading independently look like first? Well, it looks like you're reading and turning pages. So as you are reading to yourself, you are turning the pages as you read them, or maybe you are taking a picture walk first. So looking through the pictures and making predictions about what might happen in the story. Number two, it means your eyes are on the book. Three, you're either sitting or you're staying in one spot. You are focused and on task. The task being that you are reading your books independently. And the next one, no distractions. Now there very well could be distractions at school and at home. However, remember, we went over the skills and the strategies you can use at home and at school if there are distractions. We talked about breathing techniques. We talked about stretching. We talked about getting a quick drink of water. So use your strategies if you are distracted to help you refocus on your task. The next one is all about being comfortable. Okay, if I'm not comfortable, then it's gonna be hard for me to do my own work. So reading independently looks like you are comfortable. And finally, it means that the teacher is meeting with the students, either one-on-one -on -one or in a small group. Now at home, it's going to look a little bit differently. You might have family members meeting with the other family members. Now, what does reading independently sound like? Well, first it's quiet. Everyone in the classroom is quiet. If you are reading a book independently, you are using either a quiet voice or you're reading inside your head. Here is what my quiet voice sounds like when I am reading. It was almost a perfect summer afternoon. The sun was purple on the ocean waves. The moon came out. The little guys were coming out of their belly. They screamed. Okay. Now that's my quiet voice for independent reading. It also sounds like a soft voice with the teacher. So if you're working in a small group with the teacher or one on one with the teacher, then you have a soft voice with the teacher. And finally, reading independently sounds like having a quiet body. It means that your body is in control. So to sum it up, this is what reading independently looks like and sounds like. So when you practice in your books today, Try to practice the skills and strategies we went over today in this video. Okay, first graders, enjoy your reading time. We'll talk to you soon.